Okay, everybody, we're looking through the trigonometry review, the Math 31 trigonometry review. This is question 1e. We can take the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine squared of x over 2 over sine of x. Okay, so what I'm looking for here, again, I'm looking for that, that basic trig identity, that sine of x over x here. I got a little bit going on here, so I'm just going to get kind of direct with this. I want to eliminate this sine of x over x first here. Okay, so we're going to put uh, a num in the numerator an x, in the denominator an x, a, a value of x here. And so what I'm going to get will be the limit as x approaches 0 of x sine squared, I want to make sure I got some room here, of x over 2 all over uh, x, sorry, I should say sine of x times x. Now, this little bit right here is the reciprocal of that, the identity that I'm looking for, but it's still going to go to 1. And so this is going to leave me with the limit as x approaches 0 of sine squared of x over 2 all over x. Okay, now what I want to do here is I want to get it down so that I can get, um, again, I get that, that proper identity here. So I need, uh, there's two of these things here. This is the sine of x. If I, if I take and in essence here, multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over 2, I am going to get the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine squared of x over 2 uh, times uh, 1 half all over x over 2. Now, sine of x, o sorry, sine of x over 2 over x over 2 is going to go to 1. That is going to leave me with the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of x over 2 times 1 half, okay? But as x approaches 0, the sine of 0 is 0. This whole thing is just going to go to 0.